Today I will be walking you through setting up USB Loader GX on your Wii to play your favorite Wii games. This is going to be an in-depth ultimate guide and will include setting up your SD card or USB drive, how to set up your games, get covers, get custom themes, get the actual USB Loader GX channel on your Wii menu, how to get your custom iOS's, install discs, and the best settings to get the full experience of USB Loader GX. Now for this guide you will need a homebrewed Wii and if you haven't done that already I have a full playlist on how to get yourself set up with that linked below. You will need an SD card and or a USB drive. You can use only one of them, you can use both together, uh, but more on that later. You just need at least one of those. Now here are a few different ones that work for me and I have compatible USB and SD cards in the description if you want to get one that you know will for sure work because sometimes some of them aren't compatible. And of course you need a computer or some method of getting the files downloaded and onto those storage devices. But with that out of the way, if you go to the description, you will find this link to get to my Funky Scott 47 USB Loader GX guide for the Wii. Now, this is for the Wii, not for the Wii U. If you read the disclaimer, it says the process is highly similar to the Wii U, but the downloads for the forwarder channel and the custom iOS's are slightly different. So if you are doing this on your Wii U, please refer to my Wii U modding playlist for the virtual Wii guides for your Wii U. And this is a very safe process with an extremely low chance of a brick, however it's always a good idea to have a NAND backup just in case. And as always, happy modding. So let's get started with the downloads. Now this may be a lot, but I promise you if you take it slow, maybe watch the video all the way through once to get an idea and then get started, I'll take it slow and hopefully you guys can follow along. So the first download we're going to go to is the ULGX app. ULGX stands for USB Loader GX if you didn't know. So let's go to the Open Shop channel link I have here. This will give you a bunch of different information on the USB Loader GX app and you can see what kind of remotes you can use. It does support SD cards now. It used to only be USB drives, but now you can have your games and everything on SD card as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so scroll down to where it says USB Loader GX zip and download the file. It should be a zip folder in the bottom left. We can close that link and go back to our dock here. And we're gonna grab the second link, the CIOS installer. Let's go there and scroll down where it says D2X CIOS installer. Click on it and it should download in the bottom left. Now this page is the actual guide on how to install them, but I will be walking you through that as well. But if you're watching this in the future, make sure to check the pinned comment or in the description to make sure that these settings are still the same as in the video, just because they like to update them probably like once a year. So the settings here, as you can see, they can change. So if they do, I will have a pinned comment letting you know and it'll tell you those settings there. But hopefully you can just follow along the video and it'll be good. So we can close that and now we're gonna get the ULGX channel WAD. Take you here where you can just click download. It'll download a WAD file in the bottom left. We can close that page now. Now we need a WAD manager. That's what we're gonna be using to download the channel WAD. So click on the WAD manager link. It should give you another open shop channel page. If you scroll down, you should see the zip file. We're just gonna download that. We can close that link and now we're gonna grab Wii Backup Manager. This is the program that we're gonna be using to set up our games and get the covers very easily. So scroll down where it says Wii Backup Manager. It'll download a zip file in the bottom left and we're good for that page. We can exit there. And that's it for now. If you notice, there's a theme downloads page, but we will set the themes up later before we take the uh, USB drive out. So I'm gonna minimize this and I'll plug in my USB drive. I will be using a single USB drive for this. If you are using an SD card, it will be set up the same. And you can also have the option to hold your apps folder on your SD card and then have all your games on a USB drive. But uh, just make sure the storage device with your apps folder is formatted as FAT32. If I go into properties, I can see mine is FAT32 right here. If it's not and it's larger than 32 gigabytes, you'll have to format it uh, using GU format. I will have a video or link down below on how to do that. But once your USB drive is up, I'm also gonna open my downloads split these here so on the right is my USB drive formatted as FAT32 and on my left is all my downloads so the first one we're gonna grab double click the USB loaded GX 
and when you open it up you should see an apps folder we're just going to grab it and drag it onto the root of your sd card or usb drive we can close that zip file and delete it from our downloads just to keep it nice and organized we no longer need it and if you go into your apps folder you should see usb loader gx and it should look like that so now we can go back to the root we will open up d2x cios installer and grab the apps folder and drag it onto the root of your sd card it will merge with the existing apps folder close that zip file and delete it from our downloads we no longer need it and we're going to open up some yam mod there will be another apps folder we're just going to grab it and you guessed it drag it to the root of your sd card it'll merge and you should see all three of these apps inside of your uh, apps folder we can close the zip file and delete the some yam mod and now on the root of your sd card along with your apps folder we're going to right click create a new folder and just type wad wad this usb loaded gx forwarder wad we're going to grab it and drag it inside of that folder if you open it up just make sure it went in there and we are we are set so now it's time to set up our games so before we do this make sure you know which drive your usb drive is plugged into so as you can see mine is in drive e we're going to need to know that for when we open we backup manager so we can close our usb drive for now and then we can open up the zip file for we backup manager and on my desktop i'm going to right click and create a new folder call it we backup manager i'm going to highlight everything in the zip file and drag it inside of that folder we can close the zip file and delete it unless you want to keep it of course but uh, you don't need to because we have it now on our computer in our folder here so we can close our downloads we no longer need that so I have some Wii games already backed up so if I go into my D drive for my data drive uh, yours might not be named the same by the way but as you can see USB drive is drive E my data drive is drive D so if I go on it I have a WBFS folder that is where my Wii games are so I'm gonna open it up and that is where my game backups are they can just be uh, WBFS format or they can be set up like this but once you have WBFS games in a WBFS folder we can uh, minimize that and open up Wii Backup Manager you'll know why you'll need that in a sec so open up the folder we made and run Wii Backup Manager the six, Win64 press yes when Windows prompts you and it's opening up on my other one so let's drag it over here and this is what it looks like so now it's time to select drive one so as i told you my wbfs folder with my game backups are on drive d so i'm going to hit inactive and select drive d and they should show up just like so and now we're going to select drive two we're going to change it to whichever drive that our sd card or usb drive is which if you remember it's mine is drive e yours might be different so just make sure you have yours picked it says this is a valid drive but there's no wbfs folder we're going to create it now press yes and now we are set so back to drive one where our game backups are we're going to click on the boxes and go to transfer drive two click on it and it'll begin transferring the games to your usb drive now, the larger the games, the longer it'll take, so uh, I'll meet you when it's done. And we got a lovely sound that it completed. So now, if we go to Drive 2, you should see those same games that you had in Drive 1. And now, we're going to get the covers. So if we go into the options here, go to Settings, and under Covers, click on USB Loader GX, press OK. And now we're going to highlight both of these. Make sure you're on Drive 2, on your USB Drive drive. <laughs> drive drive make sure you select all the boxes that you want the covers on we're gonna go to tools covers and sync and download all and I think that was really quick but here's the downloads folder and they just downloaded all the covers and I'll show you where to find them we're gonna grab them and place them on a USB drive so your games are totally set up and ready to go now uh, but we'll get the covers folder so go into the Wii backup manager folder we added onto our desktop if we go into you should see covers here so go into your covers folder go into GX and you should see your covers and I'll pull up my USB drive here so USB drive on the right we're gonna go into apps USB loader GX and then right click create a new folder call it covers 
and drag your covers in. These are named by their game ID. That's how they tell which game to associate them with. But once you drag them in, they should just look like that and we are good to go. We can close the covers, we can close our Wii Backup Manager, and now we are going to get custom themes for USB Loader GX. So if you don't care for custom themes, you can skip this and head to the next timestamp where I go onto the Wii, but if you want custom themes, head back to the Google Doc and the bottom link, Theme Downloads, we're going to click on it and head to bitsatbyte.com. Onto this website, you can see there is a bunch of different um, titles here that you can choose from. Search the name this way or you can scroll down and go to the letters. So let's go to uh, let's go to D, click on D and it'll take you to all the themes that start with D and it'll give you a preview of all the screens that you would be seeing. And it's also worth noting uh, if you want to change back to the default you can just grab uh, this default zip. So, so to show you how just grab this zip file for whichever theme you want it'll take you to a Google page. There's a folder and a dot them. You need both of these. So just click download and it should download a zip file with both of those inside. You can get as many themes as you want. You can store them all on your USB drive at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to go and grab a couple more. So there we go. I got a couple more. I'm going to close the website and open up my USB drive and I'll open up my downloads. On your USB drive, go into your apps folder, USB loader GX, and we're going to create another folder and we're gonna call it theme. Go inside of that folder and open up the zip file for the themes. Grab the folder and the .them file and just drag it inside of your theme folder. And when it's inside, you should see both of those. So just do this for all the themes that you want and I'll meet you when I'm done. And of course you can delete your zip files when you have them on your SD card. Close my downloads and now if I refresh that, you should see that I have the Blue Bubble theme, Default theme, and Minecraft theme with their corresponding .them files. So now, back on the root, this is what your USB drive or SD card should look like if you have everything on the same one. And now we are ready to head over onto the Wii and get everything set up, so I'll meet you over there. Alright, so now we are over on the Wii. If you are using a USB drive, you need to make sure you put it into port 0. So that is this one on the right if your Wii is standing up. Otherwise, your homebrew channel won't read your apps. But once you have that in there, go to the homebrew channel and start it up. And if your USB drive is plugged in, you should see it pop up here with the apps. Give it a second here, there it is. And if it doesn't, just press one and select USB device or SD card, whichever one you're using. And again, this needs to be formatted as FAT32 for the homebrew channel to read your apps. Also, did you know you can pop these bubbles? <laughs> Fun fact. But the first thing that we're gonna do to get our USB loader set up, we need to go to CIOS installer. So load that one up. We're gonna add custom iOS's, which will allow our Wii to read games off of a external storage device. Now you do need internet connection for this, but if you do not have an internet connection, I have a video on how to do it without internet in my Wii modding playlist. So you can go and find that there and do it that way. For those of you with internet, let's get started. So press any button to continue. It should take you to this page. You see under select CIOS, use the D-pad on your Wii mode and go to V11 beta one. Go down to CIOS base, go to 38. With CIOS slot, change it to 248. CIOS revision, go all the way to the right to 65535. And once you have all those settings, just click A and click A again, and it should begin downloading the custom iOS. And once it's completed, you should see a green box on the slot that you selected. So just press A to continue. And we're going to do this a few more times. So the next one, we're leaving the top the same, but change the base to 56 and the slot to 249 and press A. Press A again to start it up. And that one's completed, so press A to continue. And we're going to change the base to 57 and the slot to 250. Press A, and we'll do this one again as well. And that one's completed. We have one more to do, so press A to continue. Change the base to 58 and the slot to 251. Press A, press A again, and this will be the last setting that we need to change. And there we go, it's completed. So press A to continue, and just press B to exit back to the homebrew channel. And now we are completely done with the custom iOS's. You only ever have to do that once on a Wii. 
You don't have to do that every time you add new games or anything like that. And now we are going to add the USB Loader GX channel before we load in. Now you can load in to USB Loader GX from the Homebrew channel, but we're going to get it so that you can load it straight from the Wii menu. So open some Yam mod and load it up. Now this application sometimes has issues with Wiimotes with Wii Motion Plus or third party remotes. So the best one is to have a, an official Nintendo Wii remote. Uh, but once you load in here, select the device that we have our WAD file on. So mine is on USB mass storage device. Now, if you select the wrong one, I'll select 2.0. Nothing bad happens. It'll just say error and we can select a different one. So I'm going to select mass storage device and it should automatically load up your wads as you can see usb loader gx i'm going to click a on it and here we can install it or if you use right on the d-pad you can uninstall it here as well so i highly suggest keeping those wads on your sd card in case you ever want to get rid of it because you need the wad to get rid of it but we're going to install it so press a on install and it should be very quick and it'll install the content press any button to continue and press the home button and it'll take us back to the homebrew channel there we go let's go back to the system menu and check out our usb loader gx channel and we'll load in from there there it is back on the menu usb loader gx it makes it very convenient and you you won't even have to go back into the homebrew channel anymore you can load it straight from the wii menu so let's load it up and head into usb loader gx and set up our games and now if you're using an sd card it may come up with a prompt to press a to load in SD mode, but I have USB drive, so it'll just load straight in. If it can't find it, try switching the USB slots. And if you get the error message, USB not initialized, uh, I will have a video on how to fix that here, uh, but let's get on with setting up. So it loads straight into this menu here. As you can see, it has no image on our covers, but we'll change that in a second. Now, if your games don't show up in the hop bar here, this select loader mode, you can make sure Wii games is checked and press OK. But as you can see, mine are showing up here. But let's get the covers showing up. So into your settings, go over to the right to custom paths. And we're going to change 2D cover path. Should be your USB device. We go into your apps, USB loader GX, and click covers. That's where we placed our covers. So press OK when you have it looking like this. Path changed. OK. Let's go back and check it out. So when it loads it up, there we go, we have our covers. So that looks really good when you load it into this hotbar option, when you have all your games flowing in a beautiful little semicircle for you. Uh, it looks awesome with the covers. But personally, my favorite is this screen where you can see it looks like they're installed to the Wii menu. It, you don't need covers for it to look like this, so if you skip that step, <laughs> this is probably your best option. But if you did not have games to add onto your USB drive, you can actually download them directly from the disc. Let's get Mario Kart Wii, because I haven't backed that one up yet. So I'm just going to put it into my Wii console while in USB Loader GX, and there we go, D disc insert detected. We have the option to install it, but I'm going to hit cancel. So if you didn't get that message, just hit this plus icon, and you will have the option to install the game, press yes, and it will detect the disc in the in your console and there we go it found mario kart wii 2.6 gigabytes so it may take a little while but press ok and it will begin installing the game so i will uh, meet you when it's over it should take about 20 minutes or so we'll see and we're reaching the end that took i think 25 minutes so generally like 10 minutes for a gigabyte at least for my wii and once it's done, it will be installed the same way as your other games. So you'll be able to find it on your folder, in your WBFS folder. And if we give it a second here, there we go, successfully installed Mario Kart Wii. Press OK and it should pop up here in a second. It'll reload and there it is, Mario Kart Wii. Now we can play it the same way we can play our other games. But first, if we go to this hop our options with the lines, that Mario Kart Wii does not have a cover so you can get the cover the same way we got these ones by going into Wii Backup Manager with your USB drive plugged in or if you do have internet connection you can just click on the no image and you can have the option to download the cover so press OK found missing images press yes and it will download the covers 
straight from the internet. But of course you do need internet connection for your Wii to do this. So if not, you still have that Wii Backup Manager option. And there we go, we now have the Mario Kart Wii cover. Just like that, very easy. And now if we go uh, to this one, looks awesome. But now let's try out the game. So to load it up on this screen anyway, you just click it and it's just like the Wii menu, but you can press B to exit. Uh, on this screen, you just click the game and it'll be the same method. But let's load up Super Mario Bros Wii and make sure it works. Fingers crossed. Just kidding, it'll work. Bam, we're playing a game from our USB drive now. Now I will just show you quick, if you hit the home button and click Wii menu, we'll say yes, it will take you all the way back to the Wii menu, but if you would prefer to take it to the USB Loader GX app, uh, I will show you how to change those settings in a sec. So there we go, it, it took us to the Wii menu, uh, but we're gonna change the settings so that it takes us back to USB Loader GX instead. And that way you can switch between your games much easier. So go into your settings, go into loader settings, and go all the way down to where it says return to. So now uh, you do need the USB Loader GX Wii channel for this, so the forwarder channel, but since we already have that, we're good to go. So press A on it and select UNEO, USB Loader GX. And make sure you press A on it and it looks like this, press back. And bam, okay, we're in Mario Kart Wii, let's press the home button, go to the Wii menu, and now it should take us back to USB Loader GX instead of the Wii menu. There we go, so it loads straight into USB Loader GX. Awesome, so it just makes it a little bit more convenient. And now that we have everything set up, it's time to add our custom themes if you added them onto your USB drive or SD card. So if you have custom themes, go into your settings, go over to the right two times to page three and go to theme menu. And once you go in there, you should be able to see the themes that you selected. Some of them might not have a picture, uh, but to pick the one you want, just press on it and click apply. We're gonna add the Minecraft theme, press yes, and it should be changed. So let's go back and there we go. It's unfortunate that uh, the custom themes all have this like box around all the games but if you go to this um, option here <laughs> it looks really cool with the Minecraft background let's check out the blue bubble too and don't worry if you forget which of the icons mean certain things you can just hover and it will tell you you can also exit straight to the homebrew launcher from here as well and there we go you now have custom themes so that is it for the tutorial hopefully you were able to follow it smoothly and you now have USB Loader GX fully set up and ready to go uh, I hope you have a ton of fun playing your games if you appreciated this guide please make sure to hit hit that like button it really helps me out and if you really enjoyed this guide and you want to support myself and the channel there will be an option to buy me a coffee down below or on the Google Doc page. But of course, a like is good enough for me. And uh, make sure to comment and tell me your favorite game down below. Mine is between, honestly, these three, but Mario Kart Wii takes the cake. Uh, I do stream Mario Kart Wii mods every weekend. So if you want to subscribe and stay tuned for those, I'd love to see you in there. There's a Discord channel you can join below if you have any issues. Uh, you can ask That's questions not, there in, in the proper channels. Uh, but essentially, that is it for the guide. I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.